George, Greg, and Roy, today is the feast of Mary, help of Christians. You grew in your love for the priesthood under the shadow of Mary, help of Christians. And I am sure you won't mind if I tell you that today I will entrust your ordination to the care of Mary, help of Christians. The mother of our priesthood is Mary. The power beneath our wings, the strength when we are discouraged, the hope when we are fallen, that is Mary, help of Christians. And she is the only woman you are allowed to love. No other woman. Because Mary is more than enough. Mary is more than enough for all your needs, for womanly care, for feminine love. Mary fills up all of that. So for the rest of your life, until your golden jubilee as a priest, you will be called Priests of Mary, Help of Christians. You will share in her mission to be a helper of Christians. But before you are a helper of Christians, you are a first helper of God. Try to ponder it. Helper of God. Does God need help? Will God ever need help? That is the mystery of God's love. God who is all-powerful, God who created the universe, reaches out to you and says, Can you help me? God who is all-powerful, God who is, who is our creator, sent an angel to Mary and proposed to Mary and said, Will you marry me? God who is all-powerful now says to you, Roy, Greg, and George, will you be my best friend forever? Will you help me please? Because I need your voice. I need your hands. I need your feet. I need your body. I need you so that I can show my love for my people. Can you help me? It sends me shivers in my spine, thinking that God stoops down and says He is a needy God and He needs mortal men like you to continue His mission. And that is the truth, my dear brothers. You are helpers of God. And God humbles Himself and says to you, I need help. Please help me. Beginning today, my brothers, my sons, your word is no longer your word. It is the word of God. Your action is no longer your action. It is the action of God. Your life is no longer your life. It is the life of God. That is why you must be very careful with your words. You must be very careful with your thoughts. You must be very careful with your actions. Because even in the manner of buying your pants and choosing your shoes, in the manner of riding the tricycle or riding your car, you are showing that God is in your heart. That you are a helper of God. That you will not do anything that God will not do. Don't do anything that God will not do. If Jesus will not do it, don't do it. Because you are only a helper. Because your mission is to make the mission of Christ easier. 
Now, if as a, as a priest, you will just pursue your own agenda, you will just pursue your own plans, without prayer, without discernment, you are not helping God. You're adding to the work of God. God's helper, that is who you are. And be careful. Be careful with your words, with your life, because everything that you do must lighten, must make the work of God easier. Do not add to the load of work that God has for the world. Because you are a helper of God, you also become helper of the weak. Helper of the weak, it does not mean that you are superman. It only means that even if you are weak, even if you have been wounded, even if you have been blackened by sin, even if you are so ugly because of sin, God will still use you to help the weak, to beautify the ugly, to raise sinners and make them saints. You are a helper of the weak because the weak are the favorites of God. As a priest, my dear brothers, I will tell you, there will be many powerful people, rich people who will approach you. You will surely know them by name in time. But please make sure that you also know the poor by name. Please make sure that the weak always have a spot in your schedule. You must never to you must never become too busy for them. To the weak, we only show mercy because we ourselves have been recipients of that mercy. The weak are not for abuse. The weak are not to be used. The weak are to be embraced because the feet of the weak are the feet of Jesus needing to be washed. My brothers, to the weak, you must bring the freedom of Jesus Christ. To the weak, you must bring the love of Jesus Christ. To the weak, you must bring the fullness of Jesus Christ. To the weak, you must bring the strength of Jesus Christ. In standing for the weak, in helping for the weak, the strong will run after, the strong will run after your neck. Never mind. In helping the weak, the strong, the wealthy, the powerful might consider you their enemy. Embrace it. Choose to be alienated by the powerful and the rich if that means bringing you closer to the weak and the sinners and the poor. Last, Roy, Greg, and George, you are not only helpers of God, you are not only helpers of the weak, you are helper among helpers. Your brotherhood with your fellow helpers should be a priority in your priesthood. There is no other best friend than Jesus. But after Jesus, look at your brothers. They are also helpers of Jesus. And they are willing to be your brother helpers. That is why at the right of ordination, it is not only the bishop who lays hands on you, your fellow brother helpers will lay, that, will lay their hands on you. Because you are helper among helpers. Your ordination does not mean being only set apart. Your ordination also means being incorporated into the presbyterium, becoming a member of the brotherhood, 
and it is your brotherhood with your brother priests. It is your brotherhood with, with your brother helpers that should be the most important brotherhood in your life. Stronger than your brothers in the family. Stronger than your barcadas in high school. Because your bond of fraternity with these, your brothers, comes from Jesus Christ himself. Helpers of God, helpers of the weak, helper among helpers. If you notice, my dear brothers, you enter into a new kind of relationship with God. You are no longer a stranger. You have become a helper of God. You are no longer a stranger. You have become a helper of the weak, even if you yourself are weak. You have entered into a new relationship with these men because they are brothers to you and please show yourself a brother to them. George, Greg and Roy, I trust you to marry help of Christians. The only woman we can ever love. The only woman who will love us to the full. The only woman who can make you a saint. The only woman who can bring you into the heart of Jesus, her son. Dear Mary, help of Christians, these sons are yours. Let them embrace you and embrace them in return. Do not allow them ever to be separated from your motherly embrace. Mary, help of Christians, purest among all women, most beautiful among all women. Make these your sons priests, true helpers of Jesus your son. Mary, help of Christians, your sons are yours, all yours. Amen.